You know, as Catholics, we are called to cherish and defend and protect those who are most vulnerable from the beginning of life to its natural end and every point in between. During the month of October, the Church asks you and I, ask all of us to focus our attention and prayers on the sacredness and the dignity of every human life. The theme for this year is Live the Gospel of Life. As Catholics, we believe that every human life is made in the image and likeness of God. We believe that every human life is therefore sacred and inviolable and should be protected and cherished from conception until natural death. Christ, through his church, continues to urge us to be defenders of life in the midst of this current culture of death. You know, the term culture of death coined by John Paul II, I think it's an accurate description of the drift of our culture, which seeks to promote a, a so-called quality of life instead of a sanctity of life. Because every human life is created in God's image and likeness, we believe that each and every human life is sacred, it's valuable, and has dignity. If not, then no human life is valuable. If the dignity and value of a human being is rooted in anything other than being made in the image and likeness of God, then, my friends, this dignity will always be fragile and it will never be permanent. In the United States and around the world, many challenges demand our attention. And I believe that the threat of abortion remains our preeminent priority. Why is that? Because it directly attacks life itself. Because it takes place within the sanctuary of the family. And because of the number of lives destroyed. And at the same time though, it's important to remember that we cannot dismiss nor can we ignore other serious threats to human life and dignity, such as racism, such as the environmental crisis, such as poverty, such as the death penalty. You know, the quality of life ethic, this quality of life ethic leads us down a road where not all life is treated as being valuable. The sanctity of life ethic leads us to the kind of world where everyone is valued. Everyone is valued not for what they can do, but for the fact they have been created by God himself. It's a world in which we joyfully acknowledge that even the weakest and the most vulnerable, the sick and the old, the unborn and the poor, they are all masterpieces of God's creation, masterpieces of God's creation made in his own image, destined to live forever. And they're all deserving of the utmost reverence and respect. These are words from Pope Francis. You know, a person who is not deeply aware of their own dignity in God, I believe will never be aware of the dignity of the child within the womb. They'll never be aware of the dignity of the person who is sick. They'll never be aware of the dignity of the person who is vulnerable or the dignity of the person who is, is handicapped. These are just some examples. So perhaps as we take this time to reflect upon what it means to be pro-life, we also wanna take the time to reflect upon our own dignity in a deeper way. I think it will have an impact in two ways. First, we will come to a deeper understanding of who we really are as individuals created in God's image and likeness, as masterpieces of God's creation. And secondly, in doing so, perhaps we will come to have a greater compassion for those who are suffering. We'll come to a greater compassion for those who feel the need to choose the path of least resistance. And we will then find ways to bring them hope in their difficult situation, whatever that might be. Friends, don't we want to be the face of Christ to others, offering that hope and love which they oftentimes do not see? God's infinite love for each one of us helps us 
to grasp our identity and our worth. The recognition of this dignity then leads us to respect and protect each person's life, including our own. This is the true message of hope to which you and I are called to witness. By our prayers, by our actions, by the way we treat other people, you and I, we help shape the world in which we live. Following the theme for Respect Life Month, Live the Gospel of Life. The gospel of love is at the heart is or at the foundation of who we are as followers of Jesus. In this earthly life, Jesus provided the perfect model for how we are to love our neighbor and to live out the gospel when he said these words, truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of my brothers and sisters, you did it to me. So Jesus calls each of us to care for the other as a person for whom God has made you and I, has made us responsible. The gospel of life is intrinsic to the whole Christian life and foundational to the decisions we make on a daily basis. It is also intrinsic to the type of society and culture that we must help form. So each year at this time, there is a real effort to pray specifically for a pro-life culture and the end to abortion and an end to the culture of death. But I would suggest that we fast and pray for this year round until the sanctity of life becomes the heart of our culture. So let us place our trust in the Lord and ask his continuous guidance as we continue to fight for the sanctity of human life. So my dear friends, may God make us courageous and wise to lovingly protect his gift of human life each and every day and at every stage along the way. So God bless you all.